This is a movie about how to create an assignment in Sakai. It's um, not too difficult. We'll head up to the Assignments tool. And if you don't have this tool on your site, make sure you go down to Site Info, and then Edit Tools, and add the Assignments tool, and save it. And when you do that, it'll show up on the sidebar here. And when you click it, there are no assignments currently for this course, so I'm going to add one. We'll come up to the top and hit Add. And we'll just call this one a test assignment. So we're giving it a title, and we're decided the time that'll open. So um, we'll have this open a little earlier than this. We'll have it open up at 9 a.m. And we'll give the students one day to do this, so we'll make it go to uh, the same time on the 10th. Um, and even though the assignment is due at that time, we're going to make we say we're going to accept it one hour later. So these are all pretty intuitive here. Title opening date when, when the students start to see it, uh, the due date, and then even though it's due at this time, we'll accept it for one more hour. We'll make this AM, make that, makes exactly 24 hours. Um, and then you get to decide um, for your assignment how the students are going to submit their answers. So you can either have it inline and attachments, which is the default here, which means that they can type in an answer and they could attach a file or you can do inline only so they can just type in an answer you can do attachments only so they can just attach a file you can do both you could do non-electronic and I suppose this would be for something that was like you know you wanted to remind them of an assignment they're doing that it was paper based and it had a due date but you didn't really have to have them do anything online um, and this allows you to grade it on um, within Sakai and then also a single uploaded file only so if you ask you know submit a, a word document um, that has all your answers or something so in this case, I'm actually going to do inline only. Um, and then there's a question here whether you want to allow resubmission. So if you do, you can say, OK, I'll allow the, them to uh, resubmit one or two times, or unlimited number of times, up until a certain date. So you could say, I'm going to allow them to resubmit just once, um, which means they'll submit, and then I'll grade it and give it back to them. And then, uh, I mean, I'll look it over and give it back to them. And then they could resubmit before I grade it. So here is the uh, resubmission except until, and you can set that date. I'm not going to allow resubmission in this particular one. And then you do the grade scale. Is it going to be ungraded? Just something you have an assignment that they don't necessarily have to uh, get a grade on it. Give them a letter grade, um, number of points, pass fail, or check mark. For this one, we're going to do points, and we'll, we'll enter in a maximum of 100 points. So it's a 1 to 100 scale that they're trying to get here. And for the instructions, let me just copy and paste in a little bit of information here. So the students have to answer the following question. Um, and here's the question. And we'll scroll down a little bit here. You can decide whether or not you wanted this added to the schedule, which is the Sky Calendar. And so we'll do that. Um, whether or not you want an, announce an announcement to show up about it in the Announcements tool. And we'll say no. Whether we want them to add an honor pledge, which will force the students to say, yes, I realize that this uh, assignment is, has to follow the honor pledge. So we're not going to click that right now. Also, do you want it to go to the gradebook tool? So we'll keep that at no for right now. Um, do you want to get emails about whenever some, some, someone submits it? So you can either get um, no notification emails whatsoever, you can get one every single time a student does it, or you can get one per day, which is sort of a daily digest summarizing all the people who've done it in that day. So I think for me, I'll just take the last one here. And uh, whether we want this, the um, a notification email to go out to the students when they've been graded. So we'll say yes. We would like a notification email to go out whenever we uh, release their grades. Um, so then uh, come down, we don't have any attachments we need to add. And then down the bottom here, you can do a couple of extra things. You can provide a model answer. So if somebody says, this is the sort of answer I'm looking for, you can do that here. Just click Add and fill out the information. If you hit Save or Cancel, then you can come back and see the other ones. So you can add a private note, which is pretty basic. Um, or you can do an all-purpose item, just this is a sort of anything the way that you want to, so who you show it to. Um, what the title is, etc. But we're not doing anything fancy right here, we're just doing a basic assignment, so we won't do anything there, and we'll just hit post. So when we do that, um, this is what we see. Um, we can see that this is the name of our assignment, we can edit it, we can duplicate it, or we can grade it, um, and then it's currently open, and it's open between these times, 
and these are the number that have um, are in our in that have been uh, submitted, and these are the number that are new that we haven't graded yet. Basically, um, the scale and whether we want to get rid of this. Um, so let me jump over to the student view so you can see what that looks like. So I have a test student, and here I'm in a different browser signed in as that type of student on the example site. I'm going to go to the assignments tool. And then you can see that there's one assignment open to me. So this is a little bit different from the student point of view. Um, so when they hit it, they go to test assignment, and they get the instructions. And please answer the following question. Da, da, da. And so they decide um, they're going to type their answer in here. And they're very good at Latin, so they type in this. <laughs> Lorem ipsum delor citimet. Uh, this is just some example text. And then they uh, hit submit. And so it says you've uh, successfully submitted your work, and you'll receive an e email confirmation about it. And so they go back, and this is what it looks like for them. So if we jump off of that, let me uh, minimize this and get rid of it. We head back to the main site. And if I hit refresh on my browser, we'll see that there is one um, submission so far from that student, and that there's one new one. So we want to come in and grade them. So we go to the grade, and it shows all the people in the class. I'm not sure why it doesn't show just the students. It's showing some people who aren't students, including me. Um, but uh, in this class, it's, it's just me and three uh, fake students, and one of them is submitted. So I'm going to go and click to grade their assignment. And when I do that, I scroll down, and I can look, and I can see whatever they wrote. And um, I can make some instructor comments. Looks really good to me. Um, you can just give a little answer. And then up here, if you wanted to do inline comments, like it says, you can do it in double curly braces, like this. And it'll show up in red when the students see it. So for instance, if we come up here, and say, And so we think that the, these two little notes that we put in here are going to show up in red when the student looks at it. So it'll show excellent point here, and it'll show please give more detail here at that section. So if I scroll down, um, then finally you just give the student a grade. So let's say we're going to give them um, an 89. And we're not going to allow resubmission. So you can decide whether you want to save and not release it to the student or to save and release to the student. So I'm going to save and release to the student. Great. So it says up top, comments and or grade have been saved. If you come up to the top and click grade report, you can see the people who have um, submitted these things and even download a spreadsheet that has all the student names, the name of the assignment, and all the grades that they've given and when it was submitted. Now if we look at the student view again, the student has submitted it. Um, they come and click, they come back into the assignments tool and they can click test assignment here and it shows them the answer. So they were given a grade of 89 out of a max of 100. The test assignment has been returned, and you can see here where the comments are, are in line, and also additional instructor's comments here at the bottom. And so those are the basics of the assignment tool.